Hi, Fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. I know for me it's been pretty good so far. Great weather. Got to see my oldest son. It was nice. Anyway, before we get started with this epic video, do me a favor. Go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. And check out michaelsfishroom.com. If you're going to NEC next week in Cromwell, Connecticut, and would like to order fish, go ahead and order them on the website. When it comes to choosing your shipping option, there's three options. $7 if you buy a t-shirt only. $20 if you buy fish, no matter how much fish you buy. How much fish you buy. And uh, then there's no shipping, we'll pick up. Choose that no shipping, we'll pick up. And add a note, send me an email, we'll pick up on Saturday at NEC or whatever. Uh, I already have about 10 orders going up, so any more orders really isn't a problem. Today's video is going to be on a controversial topic. No, not keeping bettas in 32 ounces of water, although that's a good one. Mom, good or bad? Stand by, grab a snack and a beverage, tell me your favorite Star Wars character, and I'll be right back. All right, fishy folks, we're here once again in front of the super red bristlenose breeding for profit tank. And I just want to go over some of the positives of Mom. Now, occasionally I get a troll comment about uh, my mom in my tanks and or I get a comment from someone who has one show tank and doesn't have to care for 55 breeding for profit tanks and they say you know your tanks are so disgustingly dirty well while it may appear to be dirt mom isn't just fish poop there's many many beneficial things in this mom including leftover food as you can see these pleco fry are grazing all over it and so, the trick to growing fry, almost any fry, uh, quickly and make them healthy is to feed them a few times a day. I can't do that. Uh, most people, unless it's your full-time job of breeding fish, can't feed fry three to four to five times a day. So I happen to leave extra moment tanks. There's a couple of reasons I do that. The first, and first of which is I'm lazy and I have 55 tanks to tank care of. The second is it's beneficial in most cases for the fish. In this particular case, in a pleco tank, the fry can graze all over it every day. It's like a 24 hour buffet, which as a fat guy, I would probably really enjoy, but as pleco fry, they definitely enjoy and benefit from. Now, this tank is a bare bottom tank, so there's really no mom hiding. Uh, if I disturb the mom in the bottom of the tank, it's not going to release any uh, ammonia or nitrites into the tank. If I test this tank as far as water quality goes, it'll probably test 005 or 10. Um, but I, there's no need for me to test. I can tell this tank is healthy because fry were born in it. Um, in fact, many batches of fry, if you look in the mom, there's quite a few little tiny baby fry. There's also juvenile size fry eating mom as well. So that's at least two batches you can see here. So um, for those people who think mom is really, really bad, it's not. I'm gonna to switch to a guppy breeding for profit tank and show you mom in that tank as well. So refill your snack and beverage if needed. All right, fishy folks, we're here in front of the uh, albino chocolate bristle nose and red grass guppy tank. These red grass guppies are from super breeder Doug. Doug is an IFGA winner as well as a pretty swell guy, although he does drive a crappy Nissan. Anyway, um, this tank has a layer of mom on the bottom, as well as some java moss. Now, you may be saying to yourself, Mike, there's no fry in here yet. Why is there a layer of mom? <clears throat> when those fry are born, the female will drop down into that java moss more than likely, or that big pile in the middle, and drop her fry. Those fry are going to be hungry. If they have to venture out into the wilds of the tank, the other mamas and daddy will eat them because they are tender and delicious. That said, the mommy fry, the mommy guppy will drop her fry in the bush 
and they can hang out in there for a few days eating off the mom getting big and strong and being able to swim fast and hide this way when they venture out into the wilds of the breeding for profit tank they have a much better chance of survival all right fishy folks let's talk about some other issues with mom all right fishy folks this is a breeding for profit mutt guppy tank and on the bottom you can see there's mom mixed in with the crushed coral i have to help bring up the hardness and this is a tank where i can't even clean the bottom of the tank i would have to take everything out including all the guppy fry and then gravel vac and then clean off the um crushed coral and then put everything back and that's just not going to happen there there's no way that's happening in my life. I don't have the time. I don't have the desire. And most importantly, there I don't have the necessity to do it. Now, if you have one of these tanks and you don't have a auto water change system or you don't change water frequently, you may run into a problem. I change 10% water daily, which means that any excessive nitrates that are building up in the mome get flushed away with the water changes. Even in my most heavily stocked mutt guppy tank, because there are so many plants and the water changes, I don't ever have water quality problems. The way you know if you have a water quality problem is if you have multiple fish deaths at the same time. If you have one every now and again, that could be stress. That could be that fish getting beaten up. That could be that fish is just old. I mean, guppies don't live very long, maybe two or three years at best in the most in the best conditions. I'm sure somebody will say, I had a guppy that lasted five years because I changed 100% water every day and there was no moan. Uh, fine, that's good. I'm talking averages here, people. So if you have a breeding for profit tank and you overfeed it like i do and you don't have an auto water change system like i do know that mom in those particular cases may become detrimental especially if your water qualities are suffering the way to know if it's detrimental is to test your water obviously you'd like to test your water and see before fish start dying if there's a problem I don't have massive, I better knock on something. I don't have massive deaths in fish tanks. Yes, I have one every now and again. Sometimes I have two every now and again, and that happens. With 55 tanks and thousands of fish, you're going to get some that die. It's just a fact of breeding fish. Sometimes you get fish that die. All right, fishy folks, let's check out another mom filled tank and see what you think. All right, fishy folks, we're here at the uh, Red Cobra Guppy Fish Tank. This is probably my most uh, profitable tank at the moment. I sell quite a few trios of these Red Cobras. They are very hardy. They are very prolific. And strangely enough, they're grown in a tank with at least an inch of mom on the bottom. Now... This mome is beneficial to the fry, as I've already said. It gives them a buffet to eat, a plethora of microorganisms to snack on when they're born. At one point, this tank had probably 30 adult guppies in it, and, I don't know, 50 fry at least. I've been selling quite a few since I started shipping again, and now there's probably only five or six adults, and... Uh, 50 or 60 fry. Uh, however, the reason why the fry are surviving and actually thriving is because there's the buffet for them. The water quality stays perfect because of all the java moss I have. Any excess nitrates that the mom is creating is being absorbed and used by the java moss in the tank and the other plants there's some kabamba in there not kabamba rickia in there uh as well and there is a um pothos plant running along the back of the tank that eventually will drop a, a shoot into the tank and also help absorb the excess nutrients 
fishy folks, the point I'm trying to make is mom in certain tanks is definitely not a bad thing. If you have a show tank, you don't want mom because you don't like how it looks. If you have a breeding for profit tank, that is something completely different. A breeding for profit tank is a tank whose sole purpose is to make more fish so you can sell them. And that's what 90% of my tanks and my fish are more, except for two. And soon, except for only one, if I decide to get rid of the Oscars, the breeding for profit tanks will continue to have mom in them. If you disagree with that, that's fine. I'm open for a healthy discussion. If you get personal, if you just are an a-hole, I will delete your comment. All right, fishy folks, don't forget, michaelsfishroom.com, shipping fish. Uh, I have another 15 or 16 orders going out tomorrow, Monday. The weather this week is supposed to be perfect for shipping fish. Lows in the 50s by me. Highs in the 70s. I'm excited and looking forward to uh, shipping some more fish. As well as going to NEC next week. If you're in the New England area or New York, New Jersey area, Cromwell, Connecticut, it's kind of right in the middle. Stop by on Saturday or Sunday. Sunday's their big auction. Saturday is the big vendor room day. I'll be there Friday setting up. Uh, hanging with some cool friends. Greg Jones will be there. Lucas Bretz will be there. Of course, uh, Martin and Lisa from Super Cichlids will be there, who, by the way, are having a big sale. Don't forget to check out supercichlids.com. All right, fishy folks, I've decided I'm rambling. Hope everyone has a great day. And uh, don't forget, Star Wars is the best. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. Great weather down here in South Jersey. Uh, hope it was nice by you. Guys, you know the drill. Before we get started with this just massively epic video, do me a favor and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. And check out michaelsfishroom.com. Should be perfect shipping fish weather. Fish shipping weather. Should be perfect fish shipping weather. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Hope everyone's having a great weekend down here in South Jersey. It was really nice weather. Guys, before we get started with the video, do me a favor. Go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. And check out michaelsfishroom.com. Should be great fish shipping weather next week. Go ahead and place your orders. That would be great. Uh, also, go ahead and place your orders. That would be great. I mean... Uh, refill your snack and beverage if that's beverage. <sighs> Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. It's Star Wars Sunday. I'm just a Star Wars geek. I mean, my, old, my youngest son is named Luke. What can I say? Should probably start over, though. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Star Wars Sunday to you.